Good morning from TX2K23, day two. Today we are finishing up our eliminations for roll racing. We're going to have drag racing qualifying tonight. Today we're going to see our Elite Eight for the first time eliminations. And I'm actually standing in front of four of our Elite Eight in the T1 race pits. 11,000 horsepower between all these cars, 3,500 horsepower in the top dog, Billy's car right here. Everyone's going to be looking to take him down. We'll see how the other shops do against these cars. And eliminations round one coming at you right now. Good morning, Terrence. Good morning. How are you, sir? Congrats yesterday. Thank you very Number much. Number one. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. That's super exciting. Who are you guys racing first round? Uh, so I believe I'm racing the, the blue Dallas Performance uh, Lamborghini. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. You got a few mile an hour on him. You got yeah. a few mile an hour on everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got yeah. it turned up? Yeah, we actually turned it up even more, so. Well, how much boost was it during qualifying? So we were running 70 pounds yesterday when we went okay. that 221. <laughs> and uh, to turn it up, it'll probably do about 90. Oh my God! Yeah, so Woo. so maybe be, 225, 228. We're hoping somewhere around in there. It depends on where we start at and stuff like that. So and our start speed, you know, it depends yeah. on if he drags me out. Yeah, there that varies not, things so. a lot. Yeah. So we'll, we'll right. see. Badass. Good yeah. luck, man. Thank you so much. You ready for round two? I'm trying to be. Made it through the hard one. Made it through the hard one. <laughs> Took out number one, but uh, he ended up going uh, and just spinning on the on the head. So kind of got a little lucky. We're we're 16th at the moment, so. Hopefully. I gotta ask, is the arrow intimidating over here? A little bit. Looks like a pro mod. So. They said they picked up five mile an hour, or actually no, eight mile an hour yesterday mile an hour. from this the arrow. Nice. Yeah. Well, just see what we do and hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> What's your strategy out there? Uh, hopefully just an even start. Just, just get an even start. That's It'll a stressful be a thing. Close race. Yeah. Yep. Do you prefer chasing or pacing? So in FL2K, the yeah, left we lane were, paces. Yeah, we were leading in FL2K and won that race. Uh, and. I thought I'd rather be chasing, but chased a couple of times at this event, and it's definitely harder to to make it right. So. You kind of get to be the bully when you're pacing yeah, in yeah, the other lane. Yeah. But hey, you know, uh, I got to ask about the note on your steering wheel, turning traction control on. What what happened yeah, there? Definitely uh, did not turn traction control off like two or three times. And then the funny story is we have a Fox body that we race, and I didn't turn the water pump on one race. Oh shit! And the, the temps uh, got to like 270 degrees in a pass. So you didn't fry anything. Uh, the head, head gaskets are definitely no longer there, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> First pair for roll racing, we got last year's winner in the STO, going up against Stacy Barnett for T1 Race. Let's go, go. Round one. Yeah. yeah! Let's do some roll racing. Left lane's typically supposed to pace, but the uh, STO is out by a few cars. You want to teach him how to do this? This is the race I've been anxious to see. Anytime we get to see Billy's car race is a good one. 3,500 horsepower. This car's got to be north of 2,800, 33,000 horsepower. Let's see how it does against the GTR. They're gonna be hard to beat. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, holy shit! 230. I, How the hell, man? That's 70 pounds to 90 pounds. Yeah, that's a big <laughs> yeah. jump. Yeah, I mean, we probably dumped another almost thousand to it. So, I think last year 234 was the fastest. Yeah. In what was it? Is it 1500 feet? 1600 uh, feet? Whatever. It was like two, 1700 feet. Okay, or something 250 like that last feet year. shorter yeah. this year, and this you're year. almost there. Exactly. And it hooked up fine. Oh, it's great. It's amazing. Crazy. Yeah. Dude, it might have spun a little bit on the head. I think it felt a little bit there, but nothing I really had to put any steering input in, and it was just, whoa. That's fucking wild. Dude. Everyone went crazy on the starting line. 
I, I can't believe it. I can't it's, believe it went 230. I it's going to be hard it. to beat this man. Yeah. Wow. To beat this car, man. I'm just along for the ride. I'm telling you, it's all the car. Yeah. T1 built an amazing car for What, what are the main components on this car? What, what, what size turbos? Uh, so they're 80 millimeter Garrett turbos uh, with a, a T1 uh, uh, 4.3 billet block. Um, just basically everything we offer, the best of the best. The top Chef of the top, six, all you can do. Everything, you know. Hopefully I'll see you good, yep. clean racing today. That's what I hope Congrats so. Congrats on too. round yes. one. Thank you Blast so much. Wild. Good morning. Good morning, man. How How's going? it going? Good, man. Good to see you. You too. So 215 in qualifying yesterday? Yeah, man. How much more power you got? We got some more on tap, so just kind of feeling out the track, see where the traction's at. Uh, it was a little looser in testing than it was in qualifying, and hopefully it'll be a little bit tighter. So it's stickier later on? Yeah, it was definitely That's good. Stickier. So uh, yeah, just trying to feel out the track. We'll just, you know, we haven't done the DCT in the Elite Eight before, so. Kind of oh, you switched back to the DCT in this car? Yep. Uh, a, this one's always kept the DCT. So this gotcha. One oh, you were just drag racing, racing before. That's yeah. right. So we got a little bit different setup in them uh, this time, too, so we're kind of getting those dialed in. So. Are you racing Ricky in the green R8? I'm not sure. Okay. Not sure. Cool. Any goals for a mile an hour? As fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> just got to get there first, right? We, we were looking at the GoPro from the other car, and we could see the wheels bouncing. Yeah. That's crazy you can do that from a roll. <laughs> that pretty nasty. Just no saving it once it goes sideways at 140. Yeah, she, was, she felt like she was on ice. It was, it was moving. Damn. Glad you're all right. Yeah, man. It's part of, part of the game. Yeah, sorry about the car. Very unfortunate accident for Casey in the underground car. That car just has so much power. When you lose traction hard off the hit in this roll race, sometimes you just don't have any time to react to be able to save it. And unfortunately, hitting pretty hard on the right side and the backing of the wall, but he is perfectly fine. All right, we've got an Alpha 12 AMS car behind me. Victor here, 196 qualifying. Well, yesterday, I don't know how, this car just hit 201. Oh, that's right, you did hit 201. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that, but I guess my guys at AMS did some magic. This class is crazy, eight miles an hour between first and last. Yep. And how, much, I, how much power is this car making? Well, um... Jake and Miles told me that we should be close to 1800. Damn. There. But we're doing it on small turbos. This is yeah. a GT35. Oh, they are? Yeah, this is like a very small turbo. So you're a little fish in a big class here, but yeah. you have, I think, maybe the top mile an hour, 201. <laughs> 201. Honestly, we wasn't expecting that. We just, Nuts. We just when I saw that pass, I was like, oh my God, 200 miles. <laughs> and that was from 196 uh -huh. to 201, it's five more miles. And I saw miles. they just got done unplugging the laptop, so who knows how much power you're gonna make now. I don't know. It's I, got a I floor. Yeah, I trust them, I just tell them, do your thing, and, and I just keep my mouth shut. All right, we'll see how you do against the Lambo. Good luck, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got the STO and Stacy paired back up, doing a rematch after a bad start on the first run. It's really hard to get these cars with 3,000 plus horsepower paired up at 60 miles an hour for a clean hit. It's uh, so sometimes you gotta do it a couple times. A lot of pressure. No pressure. <laughs> Just kidding. All the pressure's in the right lane. Yeah, that's true. What do you I'm think? I'm a car salesman, and I'm here having fun. This is what they do for a living. <laughs> You're supposed to be working right now. I should be working right now. That's great. I can't complain. These guys will get the track cleaned up. It'll be fine. So I like the short the steering wheel you got going on. It helps fat guys like myself. <laughs> that's great. After a brief rain delay of about an hour, we're back to racing. We've got the sun out finally. We're hoping it stays out the rest of the day. There's rumors of, of rain later on this afternoon, but we'll cross our fingers. we got Stacey Barnett and the LSTO rematching for round one here in Elite Eight. one either Peter's gonna decide who wins or they're both disqualified. I want to see that race. Twenty 
225. Easy's car, 225 for Kevin. <laughs> 225, see some smoke in the left lane. Looks like right lane took it home. Underground racing moving on in the STO. Austin sends them through the tunnel. Left lane sets the pace, right lane keeps up. category. This is the lowest of all the classes. 100, 179 miles an hour just to get into the roll right, race this year. Ridiculous. Remember the breakout here, 3 time champion in the roll race. It's a lot of pressure. It is a lot. So I got lucky yesterday. So we're going to see. We're going against a good buddy Tony in the R8. So Sissio and Sissio. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it's tough to race teammates, but is, there's yeah. a lot of Sissio cars out there here. There is, yeah. The GTRs are starting to get a little out gun in some of these classes. They're doing well in the top class, but they're getting a little out gun here with the D10s. I got to ask, what's your strategy that's helped you win three Honestly, years in a row? Honestly, it's just. A lot of brake boosting and just like just watching that light, just trying to get that initial hit. Yeah. I usually just get the hit, get out, and then they just usually can't reel me back in. That's usually what it's been. So. What's the breakout in this class? Uh, two hundred point three, I believe. And what's your fastest so far? Uh, one ninety seven. Okay, so you should be good. Should be good, yeah. All right, let's see if you do it again. Appreciate Four in a row. Thank you. Good luck, buddy. All right, going to come off that GTR.
so the Porsche had more in it. He qualified the bottom of the ladder, running a 201 there. <laughs> Hopefully he's got some, even more in it to make it through to the finals. All right, we're into the semifinals. Here comes the sport class first. Who's going to the final round? We'll be at Champion going to the finals. Can he do it four times? We're gonna find out shortly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Gotta check out the 1320 video family here. <laughs> nice, Let's check go, it out. Go. Got all of our hey, let me see your, your shirt. Look high. <laughs> Fist bump. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good reminder to you guys. Make sure to check out our merch store at 1320video.com. We got the link down in the description below. You have to check out our new Summer Boost version 4 t-shirt that just came out. We do it every year. The colors on the new one are really sweet. We're gonna put up the t-shirt. And the hats right now so you guys can see a close look. Check them out, 1320video.com, links down in the description below. Beautiful blue and photo Piper going up against the Horsepower Lounge GTR. Let's see who takes it home here in the semis. <laughs> Something happening with the Viper. He had to let out. Tough break for him in the semis. It's going to be GTR and GTR in the finals for that class. on that one he did turn it up <laughs> I think he was like 196 or something like that qualifying 201 then 205 but it wasn't enough to get to the finish line first Jordan Jackson not making the call for the semifinals so the blue R8 here is gonna make it an easy way into the finals everyone's been waiting for. I know. I know you've been waiting for it. Yeah. T1 versus Underground. Last year, the Elite Eight was pretty messy. Not many races. Yep, correct. This is what we wanted to see. This is what we wanted to see. This is last year's race now, so. Man, what, any strategies for the semifinal? Man, just go out there and try to run my race and hope hope everything goes well. Just try to be quick on the tree. That's the biggest thing. It's going to be one or lost on the tree, so. Some badass cars. Yep. All right, good luck, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. No go on the start. They were too far apart on that. With the start, they have to be within about a half car, and they have to be under 65 miles an hour, but over 50, that I think it is. Was not the so we'll bring it back around for a redo. Oh,
1.55. That's the fastest mile an hour at TX2K and they shortened the track this year. Holy shit. Wow. Holy shit. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Not just a win, but 237? Yeah, 237. What is wrong with you guys? I, That's scary. I don't know. I didn't even think it had more than 230 in it, you know, and then we, we pulled off that 230 and... It, it, it's just, Damn. it's amazing what this car is doing this weekend. I just, I can't believe it. You guys are killing it. Dirty. Just flawless passes, too. Yeah. The other thing car goes straight. Is we've only tried to build a roll racing car for three years, and we've won it two out of three years. Yes. So that is a good point. This is our one attempt. Damn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, man. It's still a street car, right? It's still a street car. <laughs> we'll drive it to the hotel tonight. That's right. Yeah, that from the airport. Congratulations. We're going to the finals. We're going to the finals. Hell yeah. To race that. Yeah. What are you going to do? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sit back and enjoy place. the view. I'm going to take second place very happily. We got Ricky in his R8. I think he's been like 215 up against Nth Moto. I think right around the same mile an hour. This should be a really good race. Let's see who goes on to the finals in Elite. Start again. These are the hardest cars to get paired up because they've got completely different transmissions than each other. 3,000 some horsepower, some of them are brake boosting, some of them are on analog. Talk about a dream performance here at TX2K. T1 on T1 in the Elite Eight Finals. Here we go, finals at TX2K. We're starting with our slowest class, the sport class. Let's see who takes on the win, the R8 or the GTR. Taking on the win in the sport class. 181 to 187 in the right lane, but it didn't get there first. Jan Bueller, three time in a row champion. Let's Kyle Fan Club. Kyle Fan Club was here earlier. You should have seen him. It was wonderful. Yeah. Here we go. Final for Super Sport. Jan Bueller, three time Jan champion Bueller, in a row. Let's see if go for four sport. right now. Here we go. Jan Bueller, four in a row, does it again. Unreal. <laughs> the guy just can't lose. That's literally got to be, let's see, four, 16 different elimination round wins in a row after four years. That's nuts. Here comes the unlimited final here at TX2K, the R8 versus the Lambo. Let's see who takes home the win. Too much. Lambo taking on the win, left lane. Sandbagging doesn't pay off at TX2K, but sometimes it's hard not to turn up too much when you're trying to take home the money and the prize here. <laughs> the car never ran 200 the whole day, and then he go give me 213. Just accidentally? Accidentally. <laughs> it's his fault. Too, ma too many clicks on the laptop? Felix, yeah. Bill and two by him. Well, congrats on second, man. Thank you, thank you, brother. <laughs> I never thought that we were going to break 208. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. Four. Four years in a row. Four. 
16 elimination wins in a row. It's pretty ridiculous if you think about it. <laughs> it's unreal. Do you it remember really what it's like to lose? <laughs> it's, it's you rare. raced other races. It's, yeah. That's but nuts. I will say, like I said, I got lucky yesterday. So I want to give a shout out to Omar. He uh, agreed to rerun. He didn't have to. So I, I remember if it was that. For yeah. him, I wouldn't be here. So, that was great. Yeah, he's a, he's a great sport. He's a great guy. Sweet. So, but, Celebrate yeah, it up, man. Congratulations. Thank you. So after qualifying a little bit lower, the bottom of the pack, we did. We made it to the finals yeah. and won here at TX2K. How's that feel? It feels great. You know, last year was a, a little rough for me. I didn't qualify. We came back today. I uh, wanted to qualify and we did just like a place, so we're happy about it. You learned something last year. Yeah, absolutely. That's about us. It's a good time. Cars run into an Really happy with the car. How much power does this thing have? I would assume about 1,400. Okay. Seems about in that ballpark. It's crazy what it took just to get into the field this year. Yeah. 179 miles an hour. That's insane. Just to qualify. Considering a 250-foot shorter track. Yeah, no shit. So that's the hard part. But we did it. We did it. I'm yeah. super happy with it. Congrats, man. Thanks, Thanks for awesome. appreciate awesome. it. <laughs> Check out the merch over here. Looking good, guys. No <laughs> and that's a good reminder. If you guys haven't been to our merch store lately, we just dropped a lot of fresh merchandise. A new Mexico shirt and hoodie, a new American flag shirt and hoodie, our new Summer Boost version 4 shirt, hoodie, uh, tank tops. we got everything. So check it out, 1320video.com. Links in the description below. Way here comes the last the pair of roll race cars racing, ever to go down here at Houston Raceway. The track's closing in a few months. Really Don't know where we're going to be going next, but this is the last pair cars. here taking a victory lap in the Elite Eight. Both T1 cars not going to race each other, but they just want to take a victory lap and enjoy what it took to get into the finals here. Take home the win. Everything. So that is the world's quickest and fastest Chevy SS. Didn't even know people raced those. Oh, there's another one. You can't really see it because it's a very fine mist, but unfortunately it is starting to mist, rain a little bit. The forecast isn't great for the rest of the week. There is rain in the forecast. is why we're trying to get all the stuff done, but right now we're kind of in a stoppage until it dries out a little bit. That way we can get some more qualifying going. So we're at a little bit of a rain delay. And cars are starting to make their way back to their pit spots because the rain's getting a little heavier. What do you think about rain, Jay? Let's not talk about the rain. Let's talk about that decoy starter motor. Do you hear it? It sounds like a Chevy when he cranks it. Well, yeah. Now that's boys hope. <laughs> After a six hour rain delay, we are back and we are back in the 2JZ class. Which means everything in this class is 2JZ powered. Pretty self explanatory.
that car is called white rice, or at least it used to be, I'm pretty sure. And it just did a 725. It pulled the chutes way early. And it still is number one qualifier. That's wild. 2JZ class is just crazy. All right, up next we got the streetcar class. At TH2K, streetcars are pretty aggressive. They can be six second streetcars, everything from this Mustang to a Viper to everything in between. And it's a pretty damn badass class. So let's see what they're doing in qualifying now. coming on and off, on and off, on and off. So Lord we'll see how God, long this is gonna be. All right guys, the rain has picked up here at Houston Raceway, unfortunately, so we are going to go ahead and call it for day two of TX2K. Uh, check back in tomorrow, because tomorrow is, we're going right into drag race qualifying. Everybody needs to get at least one qualifying pass before we go into elimination. Hopefully everybody gets two, but we'll see. Thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.